What's up guys, Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Um, today's video, or I guess these next few days, are going to be a vlog on me showing you and taking you with me on one of my out-of-state interviews. I am going to the Northeast tomorrow. Um, that's as much as I'm going to say about where I'm going, but I'm pretty excited to have you guys join me. Uh, I'm going to kind of give you some insight what the process is like, um, as well as some more detailed things that you may not hear about, which is kind of how much does this all cost? Um, so I'll give you a breakdown of what this specific um, interview is costing me, where I'm saving money, where I am paying money, um, as well as kind of the whole process, how it goes. Um, so hopefully you guys are excited. I'm going to bring my winter coat with me. Hopefully it's not snowing. And um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So let's get to the intro. All right, so first things first, um, the interview is on Thursday morning, and today it's Tuesday evening around six o'clock. So I have the rest of the evening to kind of pack and make my dinner, um, and then my flight tomorrow is at seven o'clock. And luckily the airport's close by, so I really just have to get there at like 5.30. Um, but it is um, in the Northeast, so I need to just be prepared for any winter weather. Um, going, going to pack some couple of layers for tomorrow. Uh, but going back to food, so guys, one of the things that sucks about residency interviews and the whole season in general is that you're usually not in one place for very long. You're just traveling the whole time. And so that means that you don't uh, have really have any motivation to like make a bulk amount of food and like cook for yourself and be healthy. And residency interviews don't help because they actually feed you a lot. Um, and they're usually very carby meals like lasagnas, pastas, and it's delicious. Love it, but um, you tend to gain some weight uh, unless you're like keeping your fitness on point. So I'm trying, um, but I have like nothing in my fridge. And so I went to uh, the grocery store recently and just bought some uh, brief ingredients to make some tikka masala on. So hopefully you guys enjoy that b-roll, which will show up in a second. Um, but before we get to dinner, I wanted to kind of quickly break down how much this interview is costing me. I looked up my receipts uh, and my credit card charges on the things that I paid for, like my hotels and such. And so I wanted to give you some insight. So first, um, first things first is the plane ticket. So the plane ticket from where I'm at to where I'm going is about $311. The cool thing is that all of that was paid for via my credit card points. If you want to watch a video on me explaining the process of how I've gained so many credit card points, I haven't played, paid for a single flight, guys, um, this whole cycle. Um, I will link the video down in the description, and I can't right here, but definitely the description. Um, but it's a $311 flight that I've managed to get basically for free. Um, and then my other charges are things like the hotels and my hotel that I was managed. I it was able to find a hotel that was about $55. And then next uh, is the rental car. Um, I know most of you guys may Uber to your destination. What's funny is that I didn't use Uber. I've never used Uber in my life until my very first out of state interview where I had to get an Uber from my apartment to the airport and then vice versa. So I've taken two Ubers in my life all within the last like four weeks. Um, but it was a little bit pricier than I thought it was going to be. And so I realized that if I found a pretty good deal on a rental car, it may actually be better. I enjoy driving too, guys. I'm from Texas, so everyone owns a car. Um, so I managed to get a rental car for $35. Um, hopefully that's what the charge is tomorrow. We'll see. And um, so that plus the free ticket. And then I did get a pretty decent rate on my hotel for about 50 bucks. So um, I'm basically paying around 80 bucks right now for a surface value. And then I'll have to pay for things like gas, uh, maybe some food if I get hungry and things of that sort. So just round it up to about 100 bucks. But I am saving, keep in mind, I'm saving about $300 um, through my credit card points. So normally somebody would be paying about 400 bucks plus um, just for one interview. So you can quickly see how things start to get expensive. But again, if you guys wanna see the video on how I'm saving money via my credit card points and traveling, basically if you're free uh, across the country, uh, the video will be in the link in the description. But uh, let's get to dinner. All right guys, so let's get to making dinner. First, we're gonna start with our protein source of the day. Um, most of you guys know that I am a vegetarian and so that means I have to get pretty creative when it comes to picking my protein sources. Um, so I have something today called soy curls. Um, the link will be in the description, but basically what these are are vegan protein strips. They're flavorless and so you first um, go ahead and just soak them in water for like 10 minutes, allow them to absorb and get some volume, and then you can marinate them in whatever sauce you want. 
and then fry them on a pan. They can be used as these like pseudo chicken strips. Um, they're really affordable, which is like one of the biggest reasons I like them, uh, is that like one pack of those, um, you get three of them for 15 on Amazon. So I'll link that down in the description for any of you guys that kind of want to try some new protein sources, but they taste really good. Um, if you choose your sauces correctly, um, highly recommend. So we will put this in a pan soon after soaking for about 10 minutes. And then we'll kind of marinate them with our tikka masala sauce that I've already bought. Um, unfortunately, this is all the rice I had. Sad life. Um, so it's mainly gonna be a, a chicken strip or pseudo chicken strip um, tikka masala with rice. Uh, but that's kind of what we have to do on our residency um, season. Uh, like I said, my fridge is pretty empty, but we'll make do, uh, we'll enjoy this and um, I will kind of fast forward to a B-roll now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the b-roll of um, the tikka masala. I will be honest, I ate it and had a food coma and basically binged on YouTube videos for about like an hour and a half for a while I recovered. But it is about nine o'clock and so I need to pack. Um, I have my clothes already, you know, ironed out, folded. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of what um, I will take on interview day for me. And I will take it in a typical duffel bag. You guys have seen this in my other videos. Um, but this is going to be it in terms of what I take. I'll take a backpack from my laptop and stuff, but um, this will be a carry-on. So in here, I will have to fit a suit, my dress shoes, my clothes for the inner or the dinner um, tomorrow evening, as well as just like my typical clothes. Um, it's going to be pretty cold. I think roughly around like 30, 29 degrees. So uh, I'll have, have a jacket, uh, dress, socks, and basically all the little things, plus like toiletries and stuff. So I need to fit it in here, my chargers and whatnot. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfits as I put them in. Um, first things first, so I don't have like a suit bag. Um, I just don't wanna like have another piece of luggage just for one thing. So most of you guys have seen this in my other interviews. I have a gray suit. Um, I love this suit and got it pretty affordably, uh, but I will nicely, nicely, fold this into uh, my duffel bag. And the goal is most guys have this issue of where you start to have creases, especially when you don't have like a, um, a bag meant specifically for suits. And so I'm going to fold this and try to put it on one side of my bag and not overload it with other things. So I may put some of my lighter clothes, uh, undergarments and things on that side and then the other side will have like my toiletries and my dress shoes and so that way the crease won't be as prominent. Um, the last interview I went on I couldn't find any creases and I didn't have to fix them so I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Uh, let's see how I do. Gotta get the slacks. All right, so next up is the clothes that I need to wear tomorrow evening for dinner. Most of those, they say casual, business casual. So um, if it's not very hot, most guys would wear like a button up shirt. Ladies can't help you out, but they tend to wear typically nice dresses, nothing over, uh, over the top or anything, but a button down shirt, khakis um, or slacks usually does, does the trick for most guys. But since it's cold tomorrow, I kind of want to have layers on. So I'm going to have, this nice dress shirt, don't really get to wear uh, very often, but it's a nice slim fit um, shirt that I'll have, and then I'll cover it with, oh, it's on the floor. Uh, this nice wine color purple sweater that I have. So this um, plus um, the shirt, I think it should make a nice combo. So comment below with what you think of my design and fashion choices. I'm a pretty simple dresser, so this should do the trick. Um, and what I'm going to do actually to kind of keep my uh, baggage kind of low is I'm going to wear this tomorrow pretty much all day, um, like on the plane and whatnot, and then just change in my hotel and put this back on for the dinner, and then I'll just neatly fold this. So 
So now we're kind of wrapping up to the last bits of things. So I have my socks, got some new pairs over Black Friday, excited to wear these, um, but I have those in. Uh, I want to make sure I don't forget my tie. Um, I just use two ties on my interviews, so uh, I usually have both in my bag in case I lose one or something goes wrong. Uh, but this is going to be my tie for tomorrow. And then I have my belt. So nothing fancy here. So basically I'm going to get my outfit for the plane ride there ready uh, and in the restroom. So that way tomorrow morning all I have to do is shower, wake up, uh, put this on and then call my Uber. Uh, but otherwise guys, like I'll have a toiletry bag. So um, it's already packed, but obviously I'll have to use it tomorrow morning just to freshen up. And then I take some Ziploc bags uh, that I will use tomorrow morning just to put some of the travel restricted items, um, the liquids that the TSA agents will like to look at um, to make sure that there's nothing suspicious and that they meet the size requirements. So I'll put these on and then my dress shoes uh, will be ready. And I have a nice little pocket um, in the duffel bag where I just kind of put them in underneath. It goes under all underneath my clothes and it just kind of hides there. So that's pretty much me packing. Um, the last thing I'll have to do today is shave this beard because I want to look somewhat decent for my interview. And so I will trim this beard and then I'm going to call it a night. So I will see you guys uh, very early tomorrow morning, likely around 4, 4.30. So um, wish me good night. I'll see you guys then. Take care. Good morning, guys. Um, it is about 4.40, so I don't have that much time to waste. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get ready, brush my teeth, um, shower, and then go ahead and call my Uber. Luckily, all the stuff is packed, and all I have to do is just head out. Um, and it's like a five minute drive to the airport, so everything's pretty quick. Um, I just have to be quick on getting ready, so um, I will see you guys at the airport. Alright guys, so I uh, finished taking a shower, getting ready, and called my Uber. Realized he's one minute away, so I'm gonna head out, and I'll see you guys at the airport. Alright guys, so I made it to my destination. Just picked up my rental car. It is a pretty tiny car, and for those of you guys don't know, don't know, I'm six foot one, and so my head is like almost touching the ceiling. But it's okay. Um, we're gonna save some money on this trip. Uh, but I have about two to three hours to waste until. Uh, my hotel uh, lets me check in. So this is the Northeast. There is some water. Um, and I don't get that in Dallas or Austin um, where I'm from. So I'm going to go ahead and just visit one of the nearby harbors and then I'll check into my hotel. So I will take you guys along with me. All right, guys. So um, I managed to go do a little bit of side thing. I know I originally I said I wouldn't say what city I'd be in, but uh, most of you guys probably follow me on Instagram and able to see this. So I'm in Baltimore um, and it is gorgeous. Look at this harbor. That is a Barnes and Nobles right there. I went inside, it's pretty huge. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna take a walk on this beautiful harbor. It's pretty chilly, um, but I have a pea coat on and then I'm gonna head to my hotel around in an hour or so. So I'm gonna enjoy this um, and hopefully you guys that are from the Northeast can understand why this Texas guy is freezing his butt off right now. So I'll see you guys soon. Hey. All right, so the harbor was freaking awesome. Uh, really cool environment much different than texas of just having that big body of water around with a huge city uh right in the middle of it it's pretty cool the other thing i learned is when i try to navigate to my hotel there's literally like 10 minutes of walking distance away so if i wanted to i can go back there again and kind of check some other things out 
but uh, I'm gonna check into the hotel. Um, there is something that I wanna see here in Baltimore, kind of in the DC area, about 20 minutes away. And I'll take you guys there with me. Um, and I try to do it in every major city that I can go to. Um, and so that means I'm gonna have to kind of plan accordingly of getting ready, um, going there 30 minutes, driving back 30 minutes and still making my dinner, which is around six o'clock. So I'm going to check in, kind of relax, change. I need to put on my dress shirt underneath this for my dinner tonight. But otherwise I'm wearing the same outfit, plus maybe some slacks. Um, don't wear jeans on your pre-interview dinner. And I'm gonna do that. Uh, I bought some Shake Shack, uh, which I've never had before, but I'm a huge fan of milkshake in any place that makes good ones. So today we have a, a coffee milkshake and I'm a huge coffee fan, so this tastes really good. Um, but otherwise is have a vegetarian burger in there. Uh, but I'm gonna check in uh, and I will check in with you guys um, in a bit, so. All right guys, so a little bit of an update. Unfortunately, wasn't able to do any more sightseeing. Uh, the place in particular that I wanted to go to was about an hour away and that's gonna be a little bit too much, especially trying to make it back to my dinner. So I managed to just kind of crash, chill for a bit, but now I'm dressed up, the dinner is in about 20 minutes and so I basically took that sweater uh, and I have a dress shirt underneath, some slacks below. Let's do this dumb YouTube thing where you can see me record on my phone. Uh, but luckily the dinner uh, venue is within like a six minute drive uh, from my hotel so it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, but these dinners are usually fun. Everyone's really welcoming and warm. It's a good way for you to kind of uh, ask some, you know, honest questions about the program as well as just kind of see, um, can you see yourself working with these individuals? Because if you come here, you know, they're going to be your coworkers, your peers, your colleagues. Um, so that's really what these pre-interview dinners are. So I'm going to enjoy it um, and I will see you guys after the dinner. All right, guys, I am back at my hotel room. Um, just got back from dinner, which was delicious. Oh, it was fun to meet all the residents, um, but I am tired. Uh, I think I have like a, maybe three hours of sleep in me for the last 24, so I'm definitely gonna hit the hay pretty soon. I'm gonna change out of my clothes, get my suit ready for tomorrow. Also have my backpack because I am basically going to be heading to the airport immediately after my interview. I need to turn in my rental car. So it's gonna be a time crunch. So I'm just trying to be as efficient as possible. And the last thing I'm gonna do before I go to bed is just do some last minute research on the program. Uh, just things that I should know going into the interview day. That way I have some more specific questions to ask about. You don't wanna just go in blindly to your interviews. You wanna be prepared, especially if it's going to be a place you're gonna be working in the future. So um, that's what I'm gonna be doing, but uh, I will catch uh, up with you guys tomorrow morning. So good night guys. Good morning, guys. It is 6.15. Uh, my interview day starts officially at 8 o'clock, and the hospital is about 15 minute drive from my hotel. So I'm going to try to get ready. Uh, luckily, everything is packed for the airport. My clothes are just kind of like sitting on this chair. So all I have to do, shower, put my suit on, and then head out. So, uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys, probably talk to you guys on my drive there. Guys, what is going on? So I'm driving to the interview uh, in the hospital. Um, I have 30 minutes to spare, so I should be, be able to get there within 10 to 15 minutes after parking and whatnot. Um, but I'm driving through downtown Baltimore, which is pretty nice. It is cold today. Uh, probably, you guys are probably, if you're from this area, used to worse. But it is a nice solid like 35 degrees with a pretty uh, decent wind chill. So it feels like 20s. Um, but I got my pea coat on, got my suit on, and so uh, we're going to just enjoy this weather because when I go back to Texas, it's just going to be nasty and different every single day. Alright guys, so I am back in my car. The interview day is over. It is 3 o'clock, so it has been a while. Um, I'm sure you guys want to know how it went. It did go well. I always enjoy these kind of interviews that are really conversational, very homey. And that's kind of how this program was. 
Um, so I enjoyed my experience, but now I have to catch a flight. So my flight is in about an hour and a half and I need to first return the rental car. So I have about 10, 15 minute drive left ahead of me, return the car. Hopefully there's not that long of a security line at four o'clock in Baltimore. We'll see, I have no idea. Um, but regardless, I'm just really tired. I need to take these contacts out. I don't wear them very often. So my eyes are drying up and then put my glasses on and fall asleep and take an amazing nap on the car. Hey. All right guys, so I made it back to Texas. I am officially back in Dallas. Um, the flight overall was good. It is very late now. It's about to be 11 o'clock and I'm super tired. Um, one bad thing that happened on my travel here is I somehow lost my license when I was in Baltimore. So, oops. Um, I'm more gracious though that I somehow managed to keep my license until after the TSA line. Um, so I still managed to be able to get on my flight. Uh, but that's gonna just unfortunately be something I'm gonna have to do this week and just get it replaced. Uh, more annoying than anything, but it's like, ah, whatever. Um, but more importantly, I am just so super tired. So my bed is there. I'm going to bed, I have nothing left to do, and I'm gonna wake up at whatever time I want. Benefit of a fourth year. But let's close this video off. If you guys enjoyed this video, first of all, make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, comment below with any questions, videos, ideas that you guys wanna see in the future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, but I'm headed to bed. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.